Crazy and hyper successful are two terms that I need to define because number one, when I say crazy, I'm not trying to glorify being mentally ill, right? That is not a good thing. It's not cool to be schizophrenic. It shouldn't be trendy to have ADHD, PTSD. People have those things and they legitimately suffer. OCD, that's not cool. When I say crazy, I mean atypical, different than average, so intensely focused on your task that you're way more dedicated than the average person, right? Because if you're crazy about the gym, for example, and I do say you should have other avenues because somebody who no life's the gym is a bum, just like somebody who no life's one particular thing, especially if it doesn't make you money, it's kind of bum behavior, right? If you're an influencer, it's different. But when I say crazy, I mean, you're just so dedicated to it. You want the most possible that you have to be a little crazy for that, like the gym, right? If you're that crazy about the gym, you want to be the best, you're going to be researching stuff like micronutrients more than, you're not just going to care about protein. How much vitamin should I be ingesting? How many minerals should I have? How much cardio should I be doing? How should I train? How do I get stronger? You learning and learning and learning and doing all that you can to be the best. That's what I mean by crazy. So let's not glorify things like ADD. That's not cool. Everyone wants to self diagnose themselves. Everyone wants to say that they're neurodivergent saying that you're Patrick Bateman or the Joker right? That's cringe. You're yourself, right? I'm Logan and I'm proud of that. I try not to be too proud of that, like I said, but again, you should be yourself and not try to emulate a character. That's not crazy. That's not cool. And most people who say that they're crazy are too afraid to ask the McDonald's cashier if they can have extra ketchup, right? So when I say crazy, again, I mean somebody who's like hyper dedicated, like my parents, my family would say I'm a little bit crazy when it comes to how often they catch me making YouTube videos and how often like how dedicated i am to the gym like he's he's a little bit different like that's the kind of mindset you have to be to be hyper successful now let me define hyper successful you don't have to be crazy like hyper focused hyper dialed in to be hyper successful to be normally successful even six figures which is well above average you can get a trade job and work for a really good company right this should be common knowledge if you become a welder you can very easily make six figures if you're in the right union, if you're in the right state, if you have a lot of work, right? There's a lot of variables there, but really becoming a tradesman and starting your own business is a very simple way to make six figures. Simple, not easy. Simple and easy are two different things. When I say hyper successful, I mean a million subscribers on YouTube, websites for merch, thousands and thousands of dollars so you can take care of your family, the ability to say, I want this thing, I'm going to get it, the ability to retire your parents, the ability to, to travel the world, to say, I was in Italy today, now I'm in Spain, now I'm in Russia, now I'm in Japan, now I'm in the Philippines. To be able to go around the world hyper successful, you need to be the kind of crazy I talked about to get there. And I'm not saying that you have to be hyper successful, but the point of this video is for those of you who have really crazy ambition, you need to learn how to be a little bit crazy. And again, I'm not saying that it's cool to be like, oh, I'm a sociopath. That stuff is cringe. Manipulating people is cringe. It's not a good thing to do, right? I'm not saying to be a jerk, but what I am saying is you need to be hyper-focused and hyper-dialed in if you want to be crazy successful. The reason I use that thumbnail which is like the Batman Arkham Asylum thumbnail, if you didn't recognize it, and I did a little character bio for myself, is because think about the characters in that game. They're hyper fixated on stuff and they are able to do crazy things. Some people call me a comic book nerd and I just said, it's not cool to say I'm literally the Joker, right? Again, you are yourself. But if you look at Batman's rogues gallery, we're gonna get a little bit nerdy here, but I said, I'm gonna truly be myself on this channel. They all have character bios, they all have skills, they all have obsessions and the ones that do the best are the most crazy and the most dedicated. Think of the Joker. Again, I say it's cringe to say, oh, I'm literally the Joker, right? Be yourself. But the Joker was really, really dedicated out of spite. Think about all the games. In Origins, he got crooked cops to run bodyguard for a hotel so he could try to blow up half the city. He rigged the entire city with bombs. Even in the game, it says before sunrise. This all happened in one night. He was able to orchestrate all of these assassins to try to kill Batman so he could blow up the city because he thought it was funny. That is awful, but that is a crazy amount of dedication. It's almost admirable, even though it's evil, right? If you look at Batman's other villains, again, I'm not saying don't think that you're a comic book character, but just think of it logically. So many of his villains are just 
hyper fixated and they become really successful. Mr. Freeze, like a lot of you guys are also into comic books, but people don't take you seriously because you're not in the gym, you're not out there making money, you're not trying to better yourself, so they don't take you seriously, but there's nothing wrong with comic books. So Mr. Freeze is hyper fixated finding a cure for the disease for his wife. That's actually a good character. Even though he's kind of a villain, he has good morals, so he's so hyper fixated it's made him crazy. And even though he never finds a cure in the end, he would find a cure before Batman, and that's saying something because Batman is probably the most intelligent character in all of the Arkham games. But if someone was to find a cure for her disease, it would have been Mr. Freeze and not Batman because he was that crazy about it. That's why I say it. I know this became like a Batman video, but it is in the thumbnail. You need to be that level of crazy if you want to be hyper successful. If you're not that dedicated, don't expect crazy results. And I'm not saying that you should want crazy results. Again, if you're okay with having a comfortable living, you want the American dream, and even that is hard. I'm working towards that. I'm going crazy trying to work towards that because inflation, college is expensive. I'm trying to figure it out. And honestly, that's what I want. I don't necessarily want to travel the world. I just want to make enough money so I can have kids and not have to say, can I have a third one? Can I afford a third one? I just want to be able to let life happen the way that it happens to be financially free. I'm not even trying to be rich. Right, it's, it's a sin to just be rich upon rich for no reason and to not give to the poor. I just want enough money to be comfortable. Those of you who are insanely ambitious, you need to get kind of crazy. You need to get really dedicated. Like with this YouTube channel, I've been borderline crazy with the amount of editing I've doing, chopping up clips. And I don't edit my long videos as much, but I study what does other people do that works. I'm doing this after a shift. I literally just worked a normal eight hour shift. It's nothing crazy. But I'm a little bit tired, but I'm finishing up my workout in the gym and I decided I'm going to make this video because I want to help my audience and it's something that I want to do. I really want to grow this channel. I want to help people. I want to make more money. Like that's a little bit crazy because most people are like, why don't you just do all of your exercising before work, go home, play some Xbox and there's nothing wrong with video games. There's nothing wrong with leisure time. I'm trying to spend more time with my friends in person because it's something I want to do and I love my friends, but to have the goals that I have, I want to have a bajillion subscribers, the best physique, the strongest possible, optimize my hormones, all this. I'm a little crazy about it. Just a little bit. And I'm not saying, oh, I'm literally a Batman villain or, oh, I'm literally like Batman's sidekick or Batman's ally. Again, that stuff is cringe. People take it way too far. Oh, I'm a Sith Lord. Like, dude, no, you're not. You stink. You understand what I'm trying to say? But I use that example because... A lot of Batman's villains in the game, like I said, if you notice, they're crazy, but they get stuff done. Scarecrow gets stuff done. Joker gets stuff done. Bane, before he goes stupid in Arkham Origins, he gets things done. They, they have a goal, they get a little crazy about it, and they do it. And again, I use the very popular video game that I'm a fan of because maybe it'll bridge the gap because some of you might look at me as, oh, he's just a, a gym rat trying to be wise, when in reality... I can vibe with all sorts of different people. I can vibe with comic book nerds who will never touch a barbell in their life. I can vibe with people that are obese, that are underweight, that are more muscular than me, less muscular than me. doesn't really matter. So I want to bring as much people into this channel. And yes, it is mostly a fitness channel, but I think everybody should be some level of fit. One and two, if you're not hyper passionate about the gym and fitness like I am, that's okay. Again, the thing I want to leave you with is... You don't need to be hyper successful to be successful. If you just want what most men really want, which is just a wife, kids, and a happy life, you don't need to be hyper successful. But if you want to be in the upper echelon, like part of me does want to be hyper successful, but it's so I can be so comfortable that I can spend a maximum amount of time with my family. I don't want to be rich for the sake of being rich. I want to be rich so that when I'm 30, 35, 40, I can spend the most amount of time with my kids, if I hopefully ever have kids as possible, and some people are going to laugh at me because like, you know, you need a girlfriend first. Listen, bro, one thing at a time. All right. I'm working on it. But again, when it comes to goals, I'm a little crazy because I want to be a little hyper successful. If you want to be crazy, mega successful, you got to get insane about what you do. You got to get crazy passionate about what you do. So I've been fitness antagonist. I hope this has helped you. It's a little bit of a funky video, but I wanted to get it out there and I had an excuse to use that thumbnail because I think it's hilarious. I'll see you guys next time.